right now from KTAB News, your local election headquarters. This is Big Country Politics. He recognizes that the situation that is now is unsustainable, and he's made, I think, the right decision uh, to resign. The search is on for a new Abilene Police Chief, Stan Standards, turning in his resignation to City Manager Robert Hanna. Thanks for being here for this week's edition of Big Country Politics. I'm Victor Sotelo. Chief Stan Standards citing relationship with the department's chaplain, Beth Reeves, as the reason for his departure. But what happens next? Our Jessica Rank getting a chance to sit down with the man who will take on the responsibility of hiring the new head of police, City Manager Robert Hanna. Jessica explains what he's looking for and how he intends to find someone to follow, to follow nearly a decade of service. This was not spontaneous. For the past it 10 years, Dan Stanrich has been the face of the Abilene Police Department. This four hours of curriculum is excellent. But now that the spot on the podium is empty, the city is standing by for what's next. I want to make sure we have the person with the right temperament and the right knowledge, skills, and ability uh, to lead our police department. City Manager Robert Hanna is in charge of the hiring process for the new chief, but says that likely won't start for at least two months. I think the process is to allow some time to, for just kind of the dust to settle. However, once that process does get underway, Hanna says he'll likely enlist some help creating what he calls a review committee. You'll have community leaders. Uh, you'll likely have representatives of the uh, Police Officers Association and officers from different ranks uh, within the organization. Now as for Beth Reeves, who is currently the chaplain of the police department, Hannah says she will remain in her position but instead report to the fire department. I don't see her role diminishing um, at all. In, in fact, in some ways, uh, I see her role increasing from a victim advocacy standpoint because it's just the world we live in today. Hannah has not yet released a time constraint on when he hopes to have this new chief hired, but says he wants to take time. I want to make sure that whoever we find to replace him, um, that they continue uh, helping Abilene be the best version of themselves. Making sure he finds the right fit. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, just crank KTAB News. And Standards has been with the department for more than 25 years. When gun control is being discussed in Texas, it's not easy or done quickly, but some interesting information is revealed, such as Texas license to carry do not commit more crimes immediately after a mass shooting in the U.S. An eight hour hearing in the state capitol tackled issues, including uh, examining recent changes to gun legislation like open carry, carry, uh, uh, campus carry and lowering the fee for license to carry in the Lone Star State. The Department of Public Safety testified that more than a million new licenses were issued in the last 10 years. With the implementation of open carry, with the implementation of campus carry, uh, the data does not indicate that there has been any increase in criminal activity over the course of the decade um, on the part of those that are licensees within the program. Lawmakers also were checking on how Texans feel about constitutional carry or no permit carry. Second Amendment advocates say that this is the next step Texas should take supporters of the legislation to tighten gun laws, told lawmakers they looked forward to seeing the implementation of gun safety education programs which were approved in the last legislative session. Now to our eye on education construction of the new career technical education building for the Abilene Independent School District is about to start. The Abilene, school, uh, the Abilene School Director Board of Trustees has awarded the $38 million bid to build the Adams CTE structure. That, 30, uh, that $38 million is around $5 million less than the original estimate. Some appreciate saving the money, but others are concerned that deleting some of the items will mean that the building will not live up to the original expectations. But Associate Superintendent of Operations Scott McLean says the negotiation process is a careful one, making sure that the school district gets the most bang for its buck. We're fortunate that we have a good mechanical contractor locally that, that looks out for the interests of the district. And they make recommendations saying, look, if you do this instead of what's spec, uh, you'll achieve the same outcome, but you can do it for less. And so, like I say, it's, it's teamwork. 
We should see some work beginning on the new ATM CTE, Adam CTE building in just a few weeks. It will be near the TSTC building on the west side of Abilene Regional Airport. Now to news about the coronavirus. President Trump has announced a point person for his administration's response to the, to the growing global coronavirus outbreak. Vice President Mike Pence, there are now more than 80,000 cases worldwide, but fewer than 100 in the U.S., federal health officials say. While the outbreak is currently contained in the United States, we should be prepared just in case it spreads. Skylar Henry reports from the White House. President Trump had all hands on deck, gathering his top officials to lay out a plan to combat the spread of the coronavirus. I'm going to be putting our Vice President Mike Pence in charge, and Mike will be working with the professionals and doctors and everybody else. We will continue to bring the full resources of the federal government in coordination with our state and local partners uh, to see to the health and well-being and to the effective response to the coronavirus here in the United States of America. The Trump administration is asking for $2.5 billion to fight the spread of the outbreak. Some Republicans would like us to get four and some Democrats would like us to get eight and a half and we'll be satisfied whatever whatever it is. Senior White House officials tell CBS News the president is taking over messaging to prevent the stock market from tumbling further. I think the stock market will recover. Uh, the economy is very strong. After opening higher, the Dow Jones moved into negative territory in the early afternoon following huge losses Monday and Tuesday. The outbreak continues to spread outside China. Brazil reported its first case in South America, a man who recently returned from Italy. That country is now reporting about 350 cases, prompting the U.S. State Department to issue a travel advisory, asking U.S. citizens to exercise increased caution when traveling there. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And Dr. Anthony Fochi of the National Institute of Health says a vaccine is about a year and a half away. Officials say there are now 15 cases confirmed in the U.S., plus three Americans flown back from China and 42 Americans who were evacuated from the Diamond Princess, Princess cruise ship in Japan. Instead of come on big country politics, it's Election Mania Super Tuesday preview as we sit down with Dr. Paul Fabrizio of McMurray University. We're back in two minutes.